Hi everyone, it's Miss Lopez here. I just want to say I really miss you guys, and these are some tough times that we're all going through. Everything's just so unpredictable. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have been feeling a lot of anxiety. That first week, I was like, oh my god, what's happening? And I was just kind of bouncing around my house and not really able to control my thoughts or, or my feelings. And so I really had to work on it that first week. And so that's kind of what I'm here to talk about is anxiety and anxiety you might be feeling. Um, we all have different patterns of anxiety. Some of us are over functioners. So we're the people that take over and like, no, I'll do that and I'll do that and I'll do that. And we don't let anybody else do anything. Then there's those of us who are um, under functioners. And so we just lay back and let other people take over and we're like, yeah, sure, you can do it and just take long naps. Um, sometimes we might think of these people as flaky or something, but you know, we all have different patterns of dealing with our anxiety and so we can't judge anybody for that. But what we can do is have a calm practice because you know what, anxiety is like super contagious. Like once somebody in your family feels anxiety, um, other people start feeling it. And the same way, once somebody starts feeling calm, then you can spread that as well. So to develop a calm practice, one of the first things we need to do is stop and ask ourselves, do I really have enough information to have a panicked response? And often panic comes from not having enough data. So ask yourself, do I really know enough to go into this like spiral? Another thing is to just be mindful and have a calm practice. Um, be aware, like I'm starting to feel this. So give yourself permission to like walk away and count to 10 or give yourself permission to say hey you know what i need a minute here or you can say hey can you tell me a little bit more about what you're saying or i don't know these are all okay things to say when we're feeling anxious um the next thing would be like to be able to name it like if you see yourself developing these um patterns of being over functioning or under functioning can name it and say to somebody like, hey, I'm feeling really anxious right now. Can I talk to you about it? So find somebody that you can talk to about the feelings that you're having. And the last thing I would say is ask yourself this very simple question. Is it really worth it to freak out? And I can guarantee you it's not. So with that, I want you to practice some deep breathing. And that's what I'm here to do with you today. We're going to practice some just changing our breathing because that often helps regulate our emotions. So I'm gonna invite you to like start off by taking some deep breaths. So a big inhale and hold it and let it out through your mouth. You can do that again. So now we're going to do something we call box breathing. So with box breathing, you inhale for four, you hold it for four, and you exhale for four. So right now I'm going to invite you to close your eyes if you'd like. We're going to inhale for four, hold it, let it go. Again, inhale. Hold it, let it go. Inhale, hold it, exhale. And if you have a dog, just move them out of the way. You give them a couple pets, that's also very relaxing. Oh, hi, that's. Miranda. All right, so that's my breathing exercise to give you. And uh, sorry, I was interrupted by the dog. Um, I, you know, we can do this again. We'll do this again next week, and I'll put the dog somewhere else. Uh, so I want to thank you for letting me guide you through this breathing exercise. And until we see each other, well, wait up until next week. I'll try this again next week. Um, be well.